Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made headlines in September 2020 when they announced that they had struck a deal with the subscription-based streaming service behemoth that is Netflix. As reported by the New York Times, the former royals were set to produce a number of documentaries, docuseries, feature films, scripted shows, and children's programming. Our focus will be on creating content that informs but also gives hope, Harry and Meghan said in a statement at the time about their plans for the new business venture. But it was the rumored price tag that came along with the deal that really raised eyebrows, $100 million big ones. Cha-ching. Sadly, the road to completing said projects has proven to be paved with bumps and potholes. No such thing as easy money, right? On September 28, the reported that following the death of Queen Elizabeth II and subsequent coronation of Harry's father, King Charles III, Harry and Meghan were pleading with the powers that be over at Netflix to make significant edits to their upcoming docuseries set to be released in December. Ruro. And while that alone spelled trouble, new reports suggest that the series and partnership could be facing even more problems than anyone initially thought. Could Prince Harry and Meghan's million-dollar streaming subscription projects be dead on arrival? According to one source, not if Netflix has anything to do with it. Harry and Meghan are panicked about trying to tone down even the most basic language. But it's their story, from their own mouths, one Netflix insider disclosed in a report to Page Six. Meanwhile, Another source told the publication that Harry and Meghan's requests to walk back content that they provided have the potential to shelve the project indefinitely. But not so fast. It's reported that Netflix is standing by the filmed makers and has every intention to move forward with the release as scheduled. Netflix has been keen to have the show ready to stream for December. There's a lot of pressure on, Netflix CEO, Ted Sarandos, who has the relationship with Harry and Meghan, to get this show finished. A recent poll of readers found overwhelming support in favor of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex abandoning their docuseries. Royal expert Neil Sean has claimed Netflix were behind the decision to delay the release, telling Fox Business in the US that there just isn't enough content yet. Earlier this week, he claimed, on this docuseries, a very good source told me that the bottom line is that there just isn't enough content. You have the Invictus Games in the Netherlands, a bit of footage in New York. But they are not allowed to use the footage from the Queen's state funeral, and you have a little bit from when they came over for the Platinum Jubilee. I understand why Netflix is wondering what they are going to do with it. It has nothing to do with claims that they are trying to cut unsavory remarks about King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla. In a poll that ran from 9 a.m. on Friday, September 30, to 2 p.m. on Tuesday, October 4, the source asked readers, should Meghan and Harry cancel their Netflix series? A total of 6,298 people responded with the overall response gaining 88%, 5,543 people, of votes cast being yes Meghan and Harry should cancel their Netflix series. A further 11%, 694 people, said no the series should go ahead, while 61 people said they did not know. Readers took part in a lively debate on the future of the Sussex's Netflix series, in the hundreds of comments left below the accompanying article. Many readers commented that the series should be cancelled, with username alias Payne writing, they should cancel every deal. Username Histrionic Narcissist said, they should never have made it in the first place. Ed, 